Have you ever heard one of Minecraft's songs and suddenly felt this overwhelming wave of happiness and nostalgia? It's almost magical how a few simple notes can take you back to your childhood, reminding you of hours spent exploring, building, whatever you imagined. How many friends did you meet during that time? But why does this happen? What is about these songs that make us feel so happy? The answer lies deep inside your brain and I'm gonna tell you everything about it. When we experience something meaningful, like playing a video game that we love, our brain works really hard to store those memories. This is thanks to a part of our brain called hippocampus, which acts like a memory center. Whenever you play Minecraft, the music in the background was stored right alongside with those happy moments. Over time, the hippocampus built strong connections between the sounds, the music, and the positive feeling you had while playing the game. But that's not all. Another important part of the brain, called amygdala, is responsible for attaching emotions to those memories. It's why hearing a song like Sweden doesn't just remind you of the game, it actually makes you feel something. That emotional reaction is what we call emotional memory. And because those memories are linked to happiness, your brain triggers that the same emotional response every single time when you hear the music again. Let's talk about the brain's reward system, because this is where things really get interesting. When you hear a nostalgic song, your brain releases a chemical called dopamine. This is the same neurotransmitter that makes you happy when you eat your favorite food or accomplish something big. In this case, dopamine gets released because your brain recognizes the song as something familiar and rewarding. The dopamine floats into the area called nucleus accumbens, which is a key part of the reward system. This gives you a rush of pleasure and joy. Almost like your brain is saying, hey, remember how fun that was? Now, here is where it gets even cooler. Our brains are constantly rewiring themselves based on what we experience. This process is called neuroplasticity. Every time you play Minecraft and hear a song in the background, your brain was strengthening connections between the parts responsible for sound, memory and emotion. Before I graduated medical school, my teacher always said, this has everything to do with neurons that fire together, wire together. The more often you hear the music while having fun, the stronger those connection became. Years later, when you hear that same music again, those well-worn pathways light up again, bringing back those same positive feelings almost instantly. But there is also a twist. Sometimes nostalgic music doesn't just remind you of the game. It also reminds you of people you played with. That's where another brain chemical called oxytocin comes in. Oxytocin is known as the bonding hormone because it's released when we form social connections. If you play Minecraft with friends, siblings, your dad or whoever you can think of, hitting the music again can trigger a release of oxytocin reinforcing those feelings of connections and belongings. It's almost like your brain is recreating the bond you had with those people, even when they are no longer right there with you. So why does nostalgia feel so powerful? It's a combination of memory, emotion, chemistry, all working together. When we hear a nostalgic song, it taps into deeply rooted memories releasing feel-good chemicals like dopamine and oxytocin. It reactivates neural pathways that haven't been used in a while. It's not just the trip down memory lane, it's the full-on experience that makes us feel happy. Connected, comforted, all at once. And that's why the C418's music of Minecraft holds such a special place in our heart. Next time you hear one of the Minecraft songs, take a moment to appreciate what's happening inside your brain. It's not just music, it's a powerful connection to your past, bringing back some of the happiest memories you have. And that's something truly special.
Head down to the comment section and share when you first started playing Minecraft. What is your best memory from back then? If this video brought back good memories for you, leave it a like too. Because this will really help YouTube to push the video out to more people who might need a little dose of nostalgia. Thanks for watching.